Hello everyone. I have stacks and stacks of what I call under papers. These are various papers. It could be copy paper or torn from sketchbooks or um, whatever. I have a bunch of different sizes, different weights, different types of paper. And I keep a stack of papers to use as as under paper. Um, and I will sometimes just put a bunch of different papers down on my work surface to catch paint that might go off my project to do some spraying on top of, to clean off stencils, whatever. It keeps my workspace clean. And so after a while, they get wet, then they get full, and I switch them around and move them so that um, both sides are filled and whatever. I also have a stack that, you know, I've been using, and I might, um, I do a little bit of collage on some of them, and I might clean off some stamps, some stencils. I might... Um, I've been using the fun foam here, and I still had some dye inks on that, so I used what I could, testing some pens on this one. Just, I don't like to waste paint, so I will grab a piece of paper for my stack, clean off the stencil, clean off a brush, clean off a pen or pencil that might have paint on it. Um, I do a little bit of experiments. I wanted to see what that would look like, crayon rubbing there, um, before I did it on my project. Here's a little bit of spirograph I was messing around with. These pages, I'd actually put some collage on first and then started doing stuff over the top of them. So they're completely random. They were done with different projects. They're different colors, different tools. Um, they don't really go together. I try to leave a little bit of white space so that when I put them together, they look like they can be in the same project. Um, but I always have a stack of papers to grab when I need some place to put some paint so it's not wasted or put some watercolors or clean off a stamp or whatever. And then I have stacks and stacks and stacks of these papers. So what I've been doing is making books with them. This one uh, is a skinny little book. I did put it in a novel cover and I, sand, I used sandpaper to take the title off. I think I probably painted a little bit of white. And then I splattered and did some stamping on the cover just to make it interesting. Um, and then I just sewed in some of those random papers. It makes an interesting art journal. It makes a random art journal. Um, some of the pages look like they weren't done together, which they weren't, but I can add to this page and make it more similar on each side. I could journal on this with different color pens, pencils, crayons. I could add collage. I can continue on and experiment with new techniques. And just continue on with it to make it look a little bit more like what I want. It's a great starting off point if you're making an art journal to have randomness on the page already and you can just add to it. You don't have to worry about, you know, what do I, what do I start? How do I start? What do I do? Um, you just see what's on the page and decide what to do. Here I was testing some pens. So it turns out completely random, different colors, and it's a whole lot of fun. 
I may just leave this the way it is or add something to some of the pages. I'm not worried. At least I'm using up some of these pages. I think it turned out pretty fun. Um, it's very random. I think perfect is boring. I like something that's so unique that you can't reproduce it every time. And something like this, every single time you do these pages, they are all different. And I embrace those imperfections. So I just wanted to do a quick flip through of this one. It is a skinny little novel. And I have plenty of papers to do another one with. So there will be more coming because um, I enjoy this process, the randomness. I enjoy not planning my art journal page and just letting it be what it is, what it wants to be. If it's pretty, it's pretty. If it's not, it's all about the process for me. So I hope that give you, gives you all some ideas on what to do with those random bits of under papers that you might have. They're a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.